Greetings, Nostalgia Seekers. Today, I am on a mission to collect the top 15 PS5 game titles. However, there are certain boundaries I have listed to make sure they are suitable enough to complete the collection. Please like and subscribe to join me on the quest to nostalgic victory. Number 1. Game Genres Throughout the years, I have gotten used to game titles with action-adventure, platforming, collect-a-thon, fetch quest, and open-world genres. The top three most popular examples are Super Mario 64, Spyro the Dragon, and Tide of Tasmanian Taiga. Number 2. Countries of Development In the last Destination Nostalgia video, I discussed about the top two best countries with the most nostalgic development features in my opinion. The United States Father and Brother, with the top three listed cities for each. Since my mission is to collect 15 game titles, I would like to divide the amount evenly with the two mentioned countries, but giving one more to Australia. Since they applied more nostalgic features within their respective video game titles in the 2010s era. Now, before I move on to the next part, I have recently collected one PS5 game that matches the descriptions I was talking about earlier. That is Clive and Wrench. This game title does remind me of challenges and quests inspired from Spyro the Dragon, filled with surprisingly fun moments and out-of-this-world adventures. The one who developed this clever video game title is from Dinosaur Byte Studio. According to research, this indie video game developer was found somewhere along the United Kingdom area. Surprising as it sounds, it saved my time for completing the PS5 collection. One less for the United Kingdom. Which leads us to number 3, Time Bound. I expect the following titles under the PS5 release, or the one similar, to be within the following time period. The following titles familiar to certain audiences, in my opinion, would be possible to make them happen. The list of developers with more games at stake, or the one considered big, like Paw Patrol Open World game title, would need more time. Otherwise, at least make good substitutes if any of these titles happen to not make it. And it does not matter what game engine they use, as long as they perform well enough to not have too many glitches. I have seen current game titles that run either the Unity or Unreal engines. However, my speculated video game titles within the Adobe console category would run in a more powerful game engine, with stunning colorful graphics and exceptionally smooth frame rate. And that's regardless of year bound, unlike the PS5 category. Do you remember the Rose scenario? How many video game titles are needed to complete the PS5 collection within each of the following years? If they do all 15 in one go, that would be too much pressure for them, because they not only miss important pieces of detail and have glitches galore, but the flowers would also be destroyed. If they only do one game per year, that is not going to be enough to fulfill my collection, making the flowers wilt. If you choose three, you are correct. This amount creates even balance for each year. Number four, difficulty levels. It's important for me to have the correct difficulty level for each respective game titles. 
I usually recommend levels 4 to 5, since they have the correct level of challenge and fun moments. Anything above those levels will never be tolerated. I cannot accept challenges that are too hard, that they make me lose faith or end up having broken hands. Anything below is okay, but may result in boredom. However, there is one franchise that I don't mind, despite being under level 4 in difficulty, Paw Patrol. And even though it's a kid's franchise, I still love the fun moments and challenges they offer, and may be looking forward to their brand new titles in the near future. And finally, number 5, ESRB ratings. This may affect the difficulty levels as well. We do not accept game titles that contain the excessive amount of violence, language, or other graphic content. In addition, microtransactions for DLC slash other upgrades and trolling people personally are considered as an offense for family-based video games. We would like to keep them as clean as possible while still having the fun moments to share. Ready for your time to shine? If you're planning to have your PS5 collection of your own, what other boundaries would you put in? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you, Nostalgia Seekers, for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.